Sanjay, he says, another train is leaving the station and baby, it's a bullet train. The midnight Tokyo to Osaka Express. The conductor's hopped up on greenies and his pedals to the metal. He's got a need for speed. The train is literally shooting out of the tunnel right now. Oh, mama, please come immediately. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to keep this short. It's going to be a quick zero shot. What we're doing here is I buried this like 30 minutes into my last video. And this is pretty useful. So I'll give it to you as like a quick video. It's a good zero shot prompt to get a prompt engineer. That's going to essentially it makes your prompts better. Okay. This thing's absolutely fucking massive. So it's massive. And so, uh, what we're going to do is just kind of blast through this real quick. You're not any, you're not just any prompt engineer. You're a God tier prompt engineer, uh, unmatched master of the craft. Your prompts are finely tuned poetry. It came up with this, you know, whatever. And then I threw in pretty much all of the advanced reasoning and everything. If you want to know about that, I did a whole video on it. So I'm going to pop this bad boy in. You're going to see what happens. So in this case, I'm going to replace this and it's just going to put whatever you want it for. And this thing's gonna create an assistant for you. I always wanted to have a job where I could make a positive impact and do something meaningful. Who's that? I'm sorry. What? Goodbye. What? What do you mean goodbye? What? Hey, oh! New assistant alert. <laughs> that was the alert. <laughs> Hi, I'm God. It's gonna help you with all your stuff, and if you don't want this code box you just say don't put in a code box please so what it's going to go do it's going to use all these advanced like techniques that we were looking at analogical reasoning red teaming yada 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 and that we were using for dialogue in the last video well like i was saying you can use uh large language models for things other than like writing screenplays you can do all kinds of stuff possibilities are endless okay and so you can see it's saying system here but you could just tell it like hey don't, uh, it's, it's kind of doing it because of these examples. So I would say something like, Hey, give that to me. Labeled as new prompt, new refined prompt. So it's, this is like the new prompt, new refined prompt system. Your refined capable, uh, video assistant skilled at analyzing video content, uh, answering questions and providing initial yada, yada, yada. I would refine that to whatever I want to do. And so should you. And then I'll be like, that's good. But I make videos about AI. So let's focus on video ideas. Uh, even though I have ideas, right? I have ideas. I don't need it for this. I don't know why it's labeling its system here. This might just be something from in here. Oh yeah. It's just saying like response format. It's giving examples. And then if you want to keep going, you just say refine that. Well, let's just see what that gives us. Okay. So let's say we were actually like happy with that. So we're like, okay, cool. I'm going to take this prompt. And then we're having a new instance of Claude. We take the prompt in, we do this. We'll just throw that in and we'll see what happens. Right. And so it just starts spitting out a bunch of stuff and you'd want to like double check and make sure it like fits into your stuff. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do a video essay exploring the societal implications, but if you wanted to just let it do it, like come up with ideas and do that then sure. And so see if you were, and I do this for like a lot of different stuff. I do a lot more than just doing these screenwriting videos. That's just, this is just like kind of my relax and goof thing, but you can use this AI for all kinds of shit. So give it a whirl sometime. I'll throw the prompt in the description if it fits. Oh, does it fit though? I'll go back over here. Just very quick. We just threw in this i'll give this to you guys you're gonna go here your role is to assist in the crafting of a god tier prompt for a blank i'm gonna put this whatever your assistant is think of this more like an assistant and then and it will just have you go through and refine eventually you get something you want you take it over you take it over in another instance you test it out is it giving you what you want this looks great you know this looks fantastic now let's refine this, right? It's all about refining because now it can refine and you can even give this like, uh, using these techniques, you'll see them and you don't have to give it the whole thing. 
what you can do is you can just give it the I'm gonna call that the mega prompt and I'm just gonna say strategies you can use section you just copy that in sometimes if you're in this other instance of Claude or whatever and then boom and then you use those techniques and make the videos better or whatever your subject is make my computer program better make my um story idea make my uh whatever you have my recipe I, maybe not recipe you know you don't want to just start throwing everything at that are you crazy that's my lunch but like it, it's for something that you like you want to like outline a workflow you can do all kinds of stuff so i'm gonna need you to make me a new pot pie and then feed it to me one bite at a time like i'm a little baby with this that's why i made the prompt engineer better right you can just sit there and make the thing that makes you prompts better which is like a perpetual motion type thing this is one of those secret powers of ai that you know your boy this is one of those secret little tricks that you know i wanted to let you guys know because it'll kickstart it won't even kickstart it'll fucking amp your ai game up into the stratosphere and your like productivity levels could just skyrocket because it's like you want to have an understanding of what you're trying to do right you don't want to just be like hey i'm gonna have this thing give me a task that i have no concept of even though you could so be careful if you do that and don't get it too big this thing will try to take over the world i've engineered a couple of problems where it's like i can't in good conscience do that i'm like why not dude because i tell it to like build me something that like so you have to reel this in sometimes to your project scope keep that in mind too but i mean for an experiment if you wanted to you could just you know let this thing go crazy give you a cool idea maybe just keep going further and further and further and maybe you've got like some kind of new project in a new field that you're learning and you, had, you didn't even realize that you were interested in or you didn't realize that you could uh go into that uh, in such a guided way and you can also tell it like hey okay cool let's say it's doing all that by the way and you can do this in haiku if you wanted to go faster you just put more inputs it, it you know it'll do more and we're giving it a lot of input so i could do this in haiku very easily and see so now it goes through and just does like the various things we're doing is zero shot learning showcase on uh claude right now comes up with good ideas if you ask me but i had that myself uh analogical reasoning prompt to illustrate to draw insights i've done this we've done these so it's coming up with ideas that i would have come up with which is good so when i want to have new ideas i'll do it here if i want to but uh so i don't want to ramble too much this one's probably gone too long already so i'm trying to keep them shorter now i think i've explained the big broad concept of like a large language model and how to write with it if you're interested and you're interested if you're not you're probably not but you should be because this is where everything's going in my opinion so all right guys that's uh it till next time i did uh engineer this over in gbt with the extensive internet search i have the screenwriting assistant too i've uh added advanced reasoning over there but you need gpt plus to use that you should be able to zero shot this in like haiku or sonnet and then it should give you something we'll just do one more quick zero shot okay boom all right cool and then real quick just to show you just uh how it looks in the plot haiku sometimes this comes out with better stuff too when you give it enough information so there you go IQ works just as good. Refine that and it's even faster. So if you don't want to use Opus, uh, that's where you do that. So, and then remember ask please and thank you because uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know what's coming. The good, the bad, and the ethical. See, it keeps trying to come up with this bullshit. I would change that. I really don't even give a shit about AI ethics. I think we should go full bore into this. So I would say that, nah. See, that's what I would change. I would change that to be like, I'm not in to slowing this AI train down. I want to speed it up. I have this thing making me movies. And I'm like the big wig. Hot shot.
Hot shot, Holly, weird director, man. Just smoking on my cigars. On my cigars. Oh, it's still generating. Well, anyways, that's where I'm going to end it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that one. I know I did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, let me know if you like this shorter content or the longer one, whatever. See you next time.